So a frequently asked question is how to get a solid or a shape to follow a mask path. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two different techniques to achieve this. The second technique relates to a text object. So I'm just going to get started. I'm going to create a new composition. 1280 by 720 pixels, that's fine. Frame rate 25, duration 120. I'm going to click OK. Next, I'm going to create a solid. And I'm going to make it 120 by 120 pixels. Make it a square. Call it a square, sorry. Uh, the color is fine. I'm going to click OK. So I basically want to get this square to follow an animation path, which I'm going to draw. So I'm going to use the pen tool to just sketch out a path. Something like that. Next, I'm going to go into the square options. I'm going to go to mask path and I'm going to go to edit cut. Next, I'm going to go into transform. I'm going to click on position and I'm going to go to edit paste. So that automatically creates an animation for us and it attaches the square to the animation path. And if we want to move this, we can just simply click on it and drag it. So I'm just going to drag it into my scene. So now when I play this back, it's following the animation path. And right now it's achieving this in two seconds because it ends at 50 frames. So if you want it to be four seconds, you can simply drag this keyframe and it adjusts automatically to four seconds to complete the animation. Uh, lastly, if you right click on the square and go to transform and choose auto orient and choose orient along path, this makes the square bank with the animation path. So a very handy option. Lastly, I'm going to show you a text object. So I'm just going to delete these. And I'm going to type quick VFX, make it quite large. And this is a bit simpler. I'm going to create a mask path, animation path. And I'm going to go into the text options, into path options. And where it says path, I can actually just directly choose mask one and it snaps the text to this mask path. I can then use last margin, sorry, first margin to make the text travel along the path. So that's pretty cool. And I can also choose a force alignment, which gives a slightly different behavior. Not very useful, but uh, you have to animate the last margin as well with this option. And we can turn perpendicular to path off. That gives a slightly different result where all the shapes, all the letters are facing upwards. And I'm just going to keyframe this actually. So that to zero, go to 70, and stop the animation there. That's much better. So I'm going to turn force alignment on. No, sorry, perpendicular to path. I'm going to turn that on. And I think we can adjust the size on the fly. So some pretty cool options. And we can reverse the path. So those are two different techniques on using mask paths for animating objects. If you found this useful, please share it. And thanks for watching.